Hi folks, this is Charlie Shelton with Disneyland News Today, back once again to try some new treats. So we are here at Disney California Adventure at Ward Wieners to try some of their new uh, offerings on their specials menu. We've got, first up is a uh, foot-long pulled pork hot dog, which is a hot dog topped with pulled pork, creamy slaw, and french fried onions served with cuties mandarins or film strip fries, but because I have a problem with potatoes, I of course had to go for the fries despite all the food I've eaten. Now I'll say this, these are the best fries. Uh, not just the best fries at Disneyland, these are just blanket statement, these are just the best fries anywhere, ever. Uh, so any excuse I have to come to award wieners to get the fries, always worth it every time. So, look at this Megilla. It's a foot long hot dog, but not a foot long bun. So it's not like you're getting a foot long of uh, pulled pork or a foot long of, of bread or anything else other than literally just a dog hanging over the edges here like this. So um, I'm going to skip some of the overture and go right to the dog. We'll just cut some of it off there. All right, so after the three bites of hot dog, when you get to the real meat of things. That's good. Um, I really don't know what I was expecting from like a hot dog. You know, Award Wieners kind of has fine hot dogs, but nothing, like their best thing is the the uh, Southwest cheesesteak sandwich, in my opinion, that's that's it. But this is this is good. It's a decent hot dog. Um, the pulled pork. Let's see if we can get just some of the pulled pork here. The pulled pork is fine. Um, you know, it's more for the flavor to go on a hot dog. If I was going to order a plate of barbecue and it came with this kind of pulled pork. I'm sure it would be just fine, but on the hot dog it works really well because it does, you know, give that pulled pork flavor and texture adding to the hot dog. So it becomes uh, just part of a larger dish rather than having to stand on its own two feet, which I think is uh, beneficial for this pork. The slaw is good, it's a little tart. A little more tart than I would expect from like a creamy coleslaw, but that works to cut through the barbecue pork and the very sodium heavy hot dog and the thick buttered roll, almost like a like from a lobster roll kind of a roll. Um, so that vinegar kind of helps to cut through all of that fat and grease and sodium and, and bring a pop of brightness to it. Yeah, it's good. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lose my mind over it. I'm not gonna walk across property to come get this pulled pork hot dog. But if I'm here and and really in the mood for a hot dog, then then this hits the spot. It's nothing truly exceptional or revolutionary though. Uh, it's fine. I wasn't wowed, but I wasn't disappointed. Now let's move on. <clears throat> I had to hunt for somewhere to sit for a while, so this has gotten a little bit melty uh, on the plate. But this is the peaches and cream funnel cake fries. It is funnel cake fries with cinnamon sugar and doused in a peach glaze with whipped topping. Let's give it a shot here. Wow. Wow. That's really fun. That tastes, what does that taste like? I mean, it's peach pie filling. So it's that thick glaze, but like it's peach pie filling. It's not chunks of peaches. There are a few small chunks of peaches, but it's not like, you know, canned peaches in syrup. It's not, it's not like that. It's more um, cooked down and thicker but the flavor is, is 
really good and it works really well with the cinnamon sugar funnel cake fries. That's really fun. Um, the whipped topping is really good. It's not whipped cream, it's just a whipped style topping. But it's light and fluffy. It did melt all over the place. Um, but you know, the flavor is still, is still consistent and it's kind of held together by this dam of, of peach cobbler syrup filling syrup stuff. It's really thick. So it's kind of holding everything together. And when you pull one out and the syrup goes with it, then it kind of runs everywhere. But it holds together well enough to eat even, you know, now 10 minutes after it came off the line. I could stand for a little more cinnamon sugar. That could just be because I'm like really in the mood for a churro. But I, I feel like I could use a little more cinnamon sugar. That might make it a little more like a a peach pie crust, you know, because maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's I. It's so much like peach pie that I want it to go that next step. I want it to have a little more cinnamon sugar, maybe a little bit more of a of a crumble to it, just to emulate that peach pie uh, uh, sensation and and flavor combo. Because with this, the the funnel cake fries are fine, but they kind of get lost underneath all of these toppings, and there's a tiny little bit of oat crumble on top of the peak of the whipped cream, but it doesn't do much for, for flavor or texture. Yeah, that's, that's the direction I wanted it, I would want it to go in. It's fine as is, but it feels like it stopped just short of glory. It could have been really, really good if it had just a little bit of that, uh, you know, crust crumble on top to really take us that next step. But. As it stands right now, it's no slouch. Um, I'm usually not a fan of funnel cakes or funnel cake fries or anything like that. They just kind of leave me cold. But the last two or three funnel cake fries that I've had here at Award Wieners have been surprisingly good. So I guess I can't say I'm not a fan of funnel cakes anymore. I'm just not a fan of funnel cakes outside of Award Wieners. So. That's everything. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.